the war between Kendrick Lamar and Drake uh, and a possible truce between them that uh, you're not going to be hearing any more diss tracks. That might be the case anyway. The reason is why has this truce come up? There is a story that has been going around. Um, there was actually a letter. It appeared to be like sort of a, a, an official letter from Universal Music Group that has been posted online. Uh, and a lot of people felt like the story was, at least according to this letter, that their label, Universal Music Group, happens to be a label for Drake and Kendrick, that they had stepped in and said, hey, squash this, no more, and actually got them together for a little peace summit. It didn't happen. There was no peace summit. Universal Music Group, we found out, had nothing to do with uh, squashing this. And in fact, well, what, there's what more evidence they? that they wouldn't yes. want to squash it because they're making money they're off making of this. They're making so much money. Kendrick has four of those songs like in the top charts like right now. Right. It, it did amazing for both of them. Yeah, it's been uh, certainly as far as selling records, which is what Universal cares about, mm -hmm. um, has not been a bad thing. And what we were told is that they generally don't want to get involved in the artists, in all of the artists, and they have hundreds of them. Yeah, there's no reason for yeah. them to. I mean, the, the fans have really politicized this beef. You know, they're taking sides, so you understand why, like, fake documents like this would come out. But, yeah, um, all signs point to the beef being over as well. You know, right. like, Drake's last track was really deflating. It seems like he walked away, and it uh, looks like we're, we might be moving on.